Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Joni Young and I'm an acrylic artist instructor. Thanks so much for joining me today, everybody. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to paint these beautiful irises in a very impressionistic, slightly abstract way using some beautiful colors. I'm painting on a black canvas. This is an 18 by 24. You can paint yours on a white canvas as well and any size canvas that you like. So I'm gonna go over with the first set of colors I'm using for the background as well as the brush. So I've got a large canvas, so I'm gonna use a larger brush, which is a two and a half inch flat brush. I'm gonna get my canvas wet, and then I'm gonna apply these colors and blend them kind of all one, one into another, making a really pretty pastel color background. So I've got some fun colors today. I've got neon yellow warm, some metallic gold, neon red, titanium white, light blue violet, light olive green, and turquoise blue. So let's go ahead and get started. Just taking a little bit of water on my brush. I'm gonna start wetting the canvas. So what this is gonna do is really help get that soft blended look with my acrylics. And it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to spread and further that paint rather than constantly fighting it drying and going back for more paint all the time. This will save you a lot of time and a lot of paint. Okay, so I'm gonna add my colors first with my number 14 filbert brush. And I'm gonna take my gold and just start adding it here and there. Very patchy. We're just creating a blurry background in this impressionistic sort of way. So just blocking in and blending colors. So I'll add some more. You can use uh, any brush that you want for this. You can use a mop brush, that'll give you a really soft look. And I might do that after to soften all the, all the areas in case there's any really harsh looking brush strokes that I wanna um, soften and make them look a little bit more blended. So I don't want you to think about where you're gonna be painting your iris flowers at this point. I just want you to enjoy this process and this part of the painting. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with some of my yellow and a little bit of white. So I just take a little scoop of each one like this. So I kind of like to do brush strokes this way and that way, sort of a crisscross. Take a little bit more. And I'm using white to blend in with my colors because I want to make sure that they dry a nice soft shade because acrylics dry darker anyways. And I'm also working on a black canvas. And I love the contrast that I get working on a black canvas. I'm gonna take some of my red now with the white. Um, it's quite satisfying to paint on a black canvas. You get that instant, see how we already have so much contrast and, and it's more exciting to add the colors. Um, so for me, it's more about the experience as well as um, the final product of how it looks with having the dark base. But you definitely can use any color canvas that you want. There's lots of ideas out there. Some people like to paint their canvases um, red or just apply like a thin coat of burnt sienna. So sometimes I'm using a little bit more white and sometimes I'm using a little bit more of the red. So I'll get um, lighter and darker shades by doing that. All right, I'm gonna take my blue violet now and I'm gonna scoop up the rest of that white and red. That way I'll get sort of a, a light purpley soft mauve shade by mixing those together. 
And I can also do that by starting to come over top of that red with the blue and lightly over the gold will give us some other colors. The gold is, you know, being on in the yellow family. We could make a light shade of green. I want to make sure I get the top of my canvas too. So whatever I've got here on my palette I'm going to use, I don't want to waste any of it. Now before I do any more, I'm going to go over to one of my mop brushes, it's dry, it's nice and soft, and you can use any size that you want. And all I'm gonna do is just lightly blend over the paint to make it softer. Now, if you like the streaky look, then you don't have to do this, but I like this soft blended look that I get, and I like the process of this too. It's kind of fun to go around, twirl my brush around, and blend one color into the next, slightly overlapping like you can see right here. This is gonna give us that nice bokeh effect background, making our flowers more in focus and having this out of focus in the background. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more white here and continue adding my colors and then I'll soften them again once I've applied the rest of my colors here I'll go back with my one of my mop brushes use some more gold that gold with a little bit of that red makes sort of a peachy coral color, which is really pretty. And any areas that are too thin and are showing the black canvas, you can quickly overlap those. You can overlap as much as you want. And you can also, you can approach this background wet on wet or wet on dry. So it doesn't matter. If you want that blended look though, you're gonna have to fine mist your canvas and then take your mop brush and gently go over. That's only if it's already dry and you're applying wet paint over a dry layer of paint. I'm going to take some more gold because I think we could start adding some down here. Maybe a little bit more here. Like I said, any areas that I start to see a little bit too much black peeking through will overlap. And then we're going to come in with our green, our beautiful light olive green, the rest of my blue violet. Take a little bit of water here. My canvas is starting to get a bit too dry and you can tell when you see the 
it's not going into the canvas. It's showing all those little uh, spaces and gaps in the pattern of the canvas. Okay, so I'll just go right in, pull in that blue, a little bit of that green. And all these colors work well together because I'm making them all pastel. And even if they weren't pastel, they would still look pretty. I just love color. I think all colors look nice together. Okay, I'm gonna take some more of my green now. And with our irises coming around here, we may have more of the green naturally here. They could be in a big field of flowers where there's green leaves and stems all around. So it doesn't matter where you add it, you can add it wherever you like. Now it's gonna look especially pretty wherever you have pink or red, because on the color wheel, green and red are complementary. I'm gonna take my turquoise and that light olive green. So you can alternate with your turquoise and your green, add a little bit of white in there, and don't be afraid to overlap and layer with your colors. It's fun to make new ones and experiment with the layering. And remember, if you accidentally cover up something too much, you can always dry that layer off and go back over I'm gonna stop for a minute and go to my mop brush and I'm gonna soften. So you've gotta have a clean, dry mop brush on hand. If your brush is too wet, you're gonna be left with streaks and you won't be able to get this soft airbrushed look. This is really what it does. So you have to have the right mop brush too. And these ones were, I found these by accident I was ordering some makeup brushes online and I've got a link for them below and to make a long story short I felt the need to paint one day I wasn't at home in my studio so I used whatever I had and I decided to try these <laughs> before I could even use them for uh, makeup brushes I took them out and I painted with them and discovered that they're absolutely wonderful and everybody that gets them loves them. Now I don't make any money off of them. I just like sharing stuff on my channel with you guys that I know you'll enjoy using and it'll help your painting experience. Okay, so this looks a lot softer. So I'm just gonna completely dry this off and then I'll see how dark it looks once it's dry. It, I may need to come over top and just do like a white and soft gold thin dry brush over it. Okay, so it's all dry now, and I think I do want to soften the background, so I'm going to be using a large brush and white and gold. I'll show you the gold paint that I'm using. It's by Liquitex Basics Acrylic. I'm going to be using my two and a half inch brush and some white paint. So I'm going to take both, kind of mix them together. And I'm just going to start by going over everything. with a little bit of water. And some of that turquoise was still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna let that become a happy little accident. I think that's gonna add a little surprise here and there that I didn't plan on, but I like that. I like it when that happens. Okay. 
add some more water, gold and white. And then I'm going to take a cloth where it's a little bit thick in paint and I'll just stumble around little circles. And you can see these little dark patches here. Now that's what happens when water gets through there's too much water and it just the paint comes right off after brushing over it so what i'm going to do is um i'll go over those later on i'm not going to worry about them now i'm going to concentrate on coming in with my flowers and maybe those flowers will cover up those areas that um aren't covered with paint anymore and anything else uh, that's not i'll touch up towards the end of the painting Okay, so this is all dry now and I'm ready to start coming in with my iris flowers. Now what I want to do is continue using my number 14 brush. This is a filbert. I like this for painting flower petals because I've got that nice round, these brushes have that nice round kind of half moon uh, or crescent moon shape to the end, making it really easy to create rounded, uh, roughly looking petals. And uh, iris flowers really have that ruffled edge look the ones that I'm painting today, bearded irises do anyways. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna use is my light blue violet. And I'm just gonna start with basic shape. We have the one bottom petal so it kind of scoops a little bit like this and then it comes up and it's roughly I need a little bit of water on my brush so up ruffle 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 wiggle just to create those ruffles we can twist around And this one's just going to go off the canvas. And then I'm going to take my white and I'm going to catch the edge of these ruffles. Go up. Just adding white over part of the blue on the edge. That's where we have the lighter spots, okay? So that's all you have to worry about right now. Then the next color, I'm going to be taking some of my luminous rose, some light blue violet, and some white. And I'm going to come right from here and I'm going to pull and sweep, pull and sweep and then you can start gently working your way down, still sweeping and you can come back And kind of go in between some of them or just down a little bit further and then you get that real ruffle look where it sort of folds over too so you can just kind of go up like that a little bit more and some water the water is really going to help release that paint out of your brush
So you're going to have some lines. We're going to add some darker lines in a minute, but we're just going to do this first. They're going to come straight down. So this is the pattern. So straight and then curve, curve, curve. Okay, same thing on this side. Okay, then I'm going to take some of my dioxazine purple along with my blue, violet, and rose. I'm going to curve down like this, right down. And then start pulling those lines. You can turn your brush this way to make some of the lines thicker and then turning it the other way to make the skinnier ones. I'm going to come in with more of my purple, add a dark shadow right in here. And then pull that out there. Now again, we're not going to see the other petal there because it goes off the canvas. I want you to just gently push, sweep, and pull up like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take my blue violet, get some water on my brush, a little bit of white, rose, blue violet, and any purple that's left in my brush plus uh, the water. And we're going to start Adding those ruffled edges and then go with that shape. So graceful and beautiful. Gently push, pull and let off to get that sweepy shape and brush stroke. Coming in with a little bit more of my white and my blue. more white on the edges here. Add a few little dabs here for the background. Any flowers and petals that are in the background. So twist and roll like that. Don't be afraid. That's going to give you those ruffled look looking uh, edges. Back over to my purple and my rose. Just going to pull up from here and add a little bit more. Deeper colors. Okay, so now inside here, I'm just going to come right down here Add some more purple and rose. It's going to be darker in here. We're going to need this shadow. Okay. 
up the side there. And more water on my brush, white, rose, violet, a little bit more of the, the rose actually, but see how I'm not overly blending it? So it's gonna come all kind of marbled and naturally blend out on its own with each brush stroke through the petals. Okay. We're just gonna start in here, twisting. And then pink and rose. I'm gonna come up this side. Some white. I'm turning my brush different ways to get that look. And then add a few little highlights in there. I'm gonna go back in this area. I have a little line here with my white. Scoop down and lighten that. I'm going to rinse my brush out only because I haven't in a while and I don't want all that paint to dry inside my canvas or inside my brush because it can get stuck right at the top here. <clears throat> and take some more of my purple so it's nice and dark and I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to scoop down a bit so I get that scoop happening from this petal right here. I'm going to have another petal, right? Like we have a petal here, a petal here, this one, and then all these up here. So we've got this one coming out. So let's just take our purple and add our dark first. Ruffle, ruffle, like that. White, a little bit of rose, a little bit of blue, all those colors. Go around the edge, pull in. bit more white. We're going to make this a little bit pointier. Whoops, got a little bit of turquoise on there. I'm not ready for turquoise yet. I'm going to come in front here. Pull. I'm not going to go completely over the purple. Take more white. And Add some more right in here. Again, more of the white. Then with my blue, purple, violet, or rose, I mean, I always do that. The roses, this shade of rose from Holbein is very similar to Uh, the neon purple violet. 
And I've got the link for these, I think I mentioned, along with some of the brushes that I'm using today. Below this video in the description. Okay, I'm gonna take some more white again. I'll take some more blue with my white and we'll build up some more ruffly petals up here. They're such stunning flowers. I love irises. And a little bit more blue over here. And then purple and my rose. Making this area more in shadow. Twist and come over. Some white. So you can be really carefree with your brush strokes. I'm gonna add a little bit of white and rose on this end. So where we have this darker purple, the other side of the petal. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. And then a lot of the rose, and I'm going to layer over. There's so many different shades of irises, and you really can't go wrong. So if you really, really love purple, then by all means, play up on the purple in your iris. Uh, there's also irises that are more of a blue color. Then play up on that if you really love blue. Or kind of just experiment and paint each one of these irises that we're painting today different colors. Back to my purple and my pink and I'm going to just pull and flick creating that folded look that they have just by those simple brush strokes I'm going to come up here and scoop around this way So just adding more color and shadows wherever I need to. Take some more of my purple. And it's always mixed with a little bit of this rose. And add a little Dab, dab, dab in here. A little bit of white, rose purple. purple. Make this just a little bit edgier looking. 
And I've only been using this one brush, so there's a lot you can do with a filbert. Take some more of my white, and this time I'm going to add a little bit of my orange and my yellow. A little bit of rose. And I'm going to start scooping. Scoop. A little bit more white. It's still a little bit too wet to create the highlight that I want to right there. I'm going to add some more white to my ruffled edges here. A bit of blue in there too for some shadow areas. So it's a little bit darker. And then we get it, get some light back in here. We're going to curve, curve up and over here leaving some of the, because it's folded over, so we're still going to see some of that deep wine and purple. And then we're going to take a little bit of this off and sweep it in. Then I'm going to take white and my neon yellow warm, take a little scoop of it like that, dab, 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 make a little oval shape right here, and then some orange along with the yellow, like I've got quite a bit here, and I applied it just over partially the purple. Clean brush, purple rose, just on the tip. I'm going to come inside and I'm just going to gently pull, sweep, pull and sweep, pull and sweep up. All right, I'm going to dry this off and then start adding some more highlights on my petals. Okay, so I've dried it off. It's still a little bit wet in some areas where I've got thicker paint. I'm taking just white only and I'm going to use little pressure, just the tip of my brush and I only want to add some white roughly outlines to some of the petals. And 
and then any other areas that you want to add some light, some highlights, you can use more of the width, full width of the brush. Yeah, just a little bit of blue right in here. Back over in my white. Back over to my blue. And then a few areas with blue for some little shadows within these ripples. Ripples and ruffles. a little bit of purple, light blue violet, rose. I'm going to go underneath where I added the white. We'll add a little shadow. It's very similar actually to painting waves because they're roughly in white on the end. And then right underneath the foamy part is where we have shadows. They're light filtering, just like flower petals are, very delicate. And then more purple. Right under here. around this edge. Okay, so I think I'm ready to start working on uh, the other iris. I'm just going to add a little bit more of a shadow right under here with the purple. And a little bit more lines and shadows here as well. Can you believe we've only used this one brush? Just a number 14 filbert brush. So if you don't have a lot of brushes, don't let that stop you. You can definitely create this with one brush only. Okay, so it's time for our next iris. I'm probably gonna paint this one quicker a little bit quicker and uh, same style, same technique, same colors. It'll vary a little bit different in some spots. We don't want them to all look identical. I'm just gonna get a little bit more white hair on my palette. Okay, so I'm going to start with my white, and I think I'll have this one start a little bit lower, 
roughly. Gonna scoop down like that. And then I'll begin to add my color in just a minute. So remember, scoops, and then they're going to get longer and come down right down here. Okay, then I'm going to take some water, purple, and rose, and I'll start from down here. And then it's going to get lighter and lighter. You've got to have that water in your brush, though, so that um, the paint flows easily. And make sure you have some areas that curve over like this. Okay, you want to have ruffles and then a few that curve over. more color, thinner and thicker lines, so change it up how you use your brush, like this for skinnier ones, and then like this for thicker and fuller ones. Purple and rose, scoop up, and then we have petal that's going to come down here behind this one so we'll just add a little bit of that purple and rose back in here for now then take some white light blue violet Just add a little bit in here. And then come over top of the one that's in front of it, just to bring that back in front, right? And then another petal over here some white, some blue, put this one in front, white, blue, just being carefree and twisting and rolling with my brush to create those ruffled looking edges. Still just using white and blue.
then purple blue rose Highlight the edges of each of those petals. Curve and sweep up. Take a little bit more of my purple and the rose. Add some more shadows in here. white, a little bit of the blue, See all these colors are still in my brush so they come out each time and blend in nicely with the previous color. And remember, to get that shape back, just gently wiggle. And I want to add some roughly highlighted edges. I'm going to take a little bit of my blue here. Some more white. Just add a few more like that. Clean brush, back to my purple and violet. Need some water on my brush. That way it'll blend in a lot better. There we go. Gives it more of that satiny look that flower petals have. Take some blue right around here. Some white, some of that orange.
I'm gonna put a yellow in there as well. And I can come in and add a little bit here where I wanted to before. Some lines. One of those uh, even tail rake fan brushes would work beautifully um, for this. I'm going to take a little bit of rose again with white and the orange. And I'm going to start adding some of this because it's just, look at that, such a pretty addition to this color palette. Sweet and gentle little scoops. more orange and rose. I'm going to take this and even add a little bit of this in here. I know it's going to dry darker. Take more rose. I just want to have some parts of these petals really, really vivid. More saturated. Almost looks kind of red. So Get the color I want, just add a little bit more of that rose to it. Okay, I'm going to add a little dab of my purple here and the orange. Tap, tap, tap over that purple scoop. Get more of my yellow. This one right here with a little bit of white. That way it'll be nice and stay nice and bright when it dries. Okay, so now for the next one, I'll let this dry and come back in with um, some highlights a little bit uh, later on. So I'm going to take my blue and white this time. I'm going to make this one a little, maybe a little bit smaller or a little bit lower. Look how pretty those colors look together. Make it rounded here, scoop down, remember your little scoops and twisting your brush around. And then we're going to have the little petals down here. And we won't really see this one very much because it's coming off the canvas. Make this one a little bit bigger.
Okay, then I'm going to go into my purple, blue, and rose. Scoop under here. So you can also go from the top, pull, and sweep down. Get such a nice pattern. It's also fun to create these brush strokes. This is what can be really healing about art, pulling and blending the colors and creating those patterns. That deep purple inside there. So see if you paint three of these, you're really gonna get good. You'll be very well practiced by the time you get to your third one. And you'll notice you'll start to paint them a little quicker. Maybe you'll develop easier little ways of approaching it that work better for you. For whatever reason, I've not had much luck with with growing irises. And I've got a, another iris painting. I'll leave a link below for that. And I mentioned that. And whenever I mention things that aren't working for me or that I'm having trouble with in my garden, you guys are always so helpful. I love it. Giving me tips. It's funny because the things that are supposed to be hard to grow, like um, just taking more of my purple and rose here. Uh, like roses, I really don't have to do anything. My roses have always been and always are thriving in my gardens. Um, my hydrangeas, I would say they're just surviving every year. And I don't know how many flowers I'm even going to get this year, to be honest. It's gonna come right up here. Bring this out a little bit wider. And then take my white. There's a little bit of that yellow in there. Remember we want it to be lighter here. So I'm gonna start scooping and then as that white starts to work its way out of my brush it'll naturally get darker down here and it'll gradiate a little bit better i'm going to actually use a little bit of this yellow here and add that around just a, just a tiny bit Take more of my purple. My petals that are going off the side. And kind of curl around down here. We're not going to see them because we've got this petal in here, but I'm just going to. line around here bring in more dark the dark lines again with my rose a beautiful neon rose and purple some white mixing in with some of that purple there this 
some blue. I'm gonna add some blue in here for some shadows. Okay, so I've got some white. I'm gonna take some of that orange and make a beautiful glowing peach color. Accidentally picked up a little bit of my purple. Some more ropes. And some bright white highlights. They can be tinted with any of your other colors. I want you guys to realize just how carefree and loose these lines are. And I want you to enjoy the experience of painting this today. If you try too hard, it's not going to come out right. And you're going to be unhappy during the process. And it's all about enjoying the process. So try to remind yourself about that each time you feel that sensation coming over you where you're a bit frustrated. Just stop and take a breath. I'm gonna sweep up a little bit here. Wherever we have those where it comes over, the petal comes over like that. So it'll give us a little bit more light in those areas. come back over here now and I'm just going to sweep in a few more highlights here and there Whenever you see a curve, exaggerate it. That's going to give you that beautiful movement and feeling. So here we can see some of that in there. 
You can exaggerate it with either a shadow or a highlight. I've got obviously highlight colors, tinted white. And add a little something in here as well for that petal that we didn't really see a whole lot of, but it's there and we need to add a little something. I'm just gonna add a few. Blue lines in here, again, following that pattern. And I need to add my purple. You could use black for this too if you want, but I think if you've already got purple on your palette, just stick with it. So both of those, the yellow and neon orange. I've got this turquoise here. Might be able to add a little, little beautiful sweep of this. Within those shadows. For those cooler areas. I mean, if you can add, find little areas to incorporate some more colors just going to add more and more to your painting. Add a little bit in here. Okay, what I'm going to do is just take some of my turquoise purple and my yellow. And I'll start adding some stalks or some stems. So it might be coming in on a slant. So we'll just add one like that. And you can get a nice kind of muted green color. by mixing your turquoise with your yellow. And then I'm just gonna have some petals down here and we're not gonna see a full, we're just gonna see a petal here and there. These are gonna be the, the focus. So I'll take some more white, blue, purple, white, a little bit of rose. And we'll just add an indication that there's some more flowers down here. I don't really want to be able to make anything out. I want it to be a little bit blurrier looking. So just do what we did up here. <laughs> but less. You can take a little bit of that turquoise in there. Don't forget to add a little bit of deep dioxazine purple. I don't know if I mentioned it was dioxazine purple. You can use any purple you want though. I'm 
can take a little bit more of that green that I made. A little bit of purple. Let's take some purple and the turquoise. It'll end up looking like we've got some buds here. So you just want to make them pointy and then come around like this, a diagonal kind of sweep and pull and curve over. And then some white. some more with a clean brush again just making sure that go go over this one right here making sure that that paint's not drying in my brush and I want to make sure this petal is in front of the stalk or the flower stem. So I'm just going over with the white there. Now what I need to add is some of my green. So I'm going to take a little bit of that green and add that little bit of thin layer of green on the tip of just or just below those buds and they kind of have a few little swirls as well More purple in there. And just some ruffles or some petals. and making it look a little bit blurry. I'm just gonna take this down a little bit lower right here and easily by adding more purple.
I'm gonna go into my white and bring down a little that petal a little bit lower so it's balanced out. And I'm going to add a little bit of that turquoise. A few hints of that because I just really love this. I want to find somewhere to add a little bit more. I still have a little bit of gold. I'm going to take some white. And I'm just going to come in and add some light here. Got some spots there that I could fix as well. right in here. I think I had a little spot that was bare, remember? And it's drying a little bit dark right there, so I could go over that. But I think I'm going to call this painting all done. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment or question below if you have one. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye!